are here in Pilsen to show you something that everyone does, but almost no one does this way. Clean a building using drone technology. That's where Alex Uribe comes in. Alex, thanks for being here. How you doing, Charlie? Thank you. Yes. I am great. You are with Apache X, and you have adapted a drone, a commercial drone, to clean this building. First of all, tell me how this works. Yes, so we're here at uh, Laquita Lofts, and uh, we're using non-traditional methods to clean the building. Uh, normally, people use scaffolding or maybe suspend from the roof. We're going to use our cleaning drone. Tell me why this gives you the advantage of other people don't. Well, uh, we can save the customer uh, time, in most cases money, and reduce liability. You don't have to suspend a human being from the roof, or you don't have to lift them up using expensive lifts. With winds reaching 15, 16 mile an hour gusts, it could be dangerous. How big a building can we do? Uh, we usually go up comfortably around 16 to 20 stories. I wish we could do the Sears Tower, but not just, excuse me, Willis Tower, not just yet. And it, you can't just go buy a drone and do this yourself. You really need to know what you're doing. Yes, you have to be FAA certified to uh, fly one of these drones. Uh, it's a commercial grade drone, uh, fully loaded with uh, hoses connected to it. It's tethered, uh, goes up in the air. When the pressure is running up there, it goes up to 55 pounds. All right, Alex, welcome to the process. What are these guys doing and how are they getting the water all the way up the clean this building? So this is a tethered drone. It's connected to our rig. Uh, we're sending uh, clean water, uh, city water, but then we ionize it and we uh, send the drone up. Uh, we put our solution to work, our proprietary mix, uh, patchy clear, and then we rinse it off with that clean, uh, pure water. And when you're doing this, could people be in the building? Do they have to worry about the drone outside the window? Yes, they could be in the building. As long as the drone is not hovering over people, uh, that's, that's what is required. It's a highly regulated uh, industry. You have to be an FAA certified pilot. Um, and yes, uh, people can be inside, but not. Uh, we just like to keep uh, people away from underneath the drone in the area. Now, you put in this building, but I imagine you can use the drone for other purposes, even like uh, doing facade and stuff like that. Absolutely, we've done uh, facilities like drone, uh, domes, uh, we've done facilities like churches, uh, water towers, you name it. So structures that need cleaning, we can do that. So next time you see a drone in the air, don't assume they're taking pictures, they're taking <laughs> cleaning your building. Absolutely. Alex, Absolutely. thank you so much. The company is called Apache X. Yes. A new way to use drones to do something we all do, none of us like to do, this could make it easier and more efficient, especially for buildings like this loft building here. I'm Charlie Wojciechowski. We'll see you back here next time.